too hot. I can't start a video without making coffee, right? So, hello, welcome back to my channel. I have been dying to make this video because, well, as you know, I love Halloween and I love decorating for the spooky season, but I especially love getting into the mood with some spooky Halloween books. Now, usually I have my favorites that I like to read over and over and over again every year. And unfortunately, those books are still part of the 28 boxes being shipped from England over to the US. <laughs> if you don't know, I have some videos somewhere up here about me packing and moving all of my things. And we moved, I already forgot. I think I got to Florida in July and it is October. And we won't be getting our boxes until November, maybe December. So I hope not in December because I would love to be decorating my house for Christmas or Yule and not have 28 boxes in my living room. But it is what it is. Uh, anyway, <laughs> on to the video. This video was inspired by me having shiny object syndrome while on Etsy and trying to get ideas for Christmas gifts and as well as Halloween costume ideas and I saw all of these books popping up blind date with the book and obviously being a writer and I love to read I was intrigued and I started clicking on them and I just got so excited and I was like you know what this would be a great idea for a video so I purchased one and it is a Halloween themed blind date with the book. So of course, before I get started, I do want to point out that the Etsy shop I just shopped from is called Mars de Luna Art Co. I think I said that right, but no matter. I will put it here in this video and I will link it to the description down below. I fully, fully, fully encourage you to support small businesses i always do i always try to shop local and or small businesses from etsy because i am also a small business of my own with my grim house publishing company and my publishing of books so please check them out if you are into this yeah so let's get into it blind date with the book anyway It came in this beautiful Beetlejuice style wrapping, which I love. This is so cool. I'm gonna open it from here. Oliver is hearing the wrapping. He's ooh, very intrigued. Oops, oops, oops. So, obviously I have not opened this yet. I just wanna say, to the camera. This is the first time I open it. I do not know what I am getting. Ooh, a bunch of stuff just came out. I was only expecting a book. Wow. Okay, so first they sent me this thank you card. How cute, how cute is that? Let me read it. It says thank you. And then the Instagram is Mardeluna Arts. Etsy, Mardeluna Arts Co., and the TikTok, which I will definitely be checking out and probably binging on TikTok. <laughs> so yes, again, I will link it to the description down below. Hi, Ollie. <laughs> he wants to be part of the fun. Mm. It's a good coffee. Okay. Yay! Oh my god, I have such a sweet tooth. Of course, I'm excited. They also added a little gift bag of candies and sweets. Let's open it. So yeah, this is totally like a little date. It's like a little dessert with a little welcome, thank you. <laughs> oh, take a look at this festive paper. Uh, bag. Can I call it paper? <laughs> what do we have? Ooh, a little 
bookmark. How cute. How cute is that? Ha <laughs> ha. And a little Freddy Krueger sticker. Here we go. I love it. I love it. And then some candy. We got Starburst. Little Twizzlers. A Jolly Rancher. And a Lollipop. Exciting. I love it. So far, this is adorable. Okay. And here for the reveal. Check out this beautiful wrapping. This I, I, I'm blown away by the wrapping. It is so gorgeous. I mean, this is like one of the things that attracted me from his from their Etsy shop was the photo with all of the wrapping. It was just so pretty. Definitely do check it out if you're interested. Holly. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna open it. I feel bad. I almost feel bad to open it because it's so pretty. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Yay, ta-da! Okay. So it says, be happy with like a creepy sticker <laughs> on the top, a skeleton. I love a little mushroom. What do you think it is? Do you think it's like a classical book or do you think it's what like a modern indie author book or is it a modern traditionally published book? Let's find out. Ready? One, two. J.A. Jans, Taking the Fifth. Nice. Includes an excerpt from Sins of the Fathers. Oh, this is very interesting. I have actually never read a book from J.A. Jans, so I am very excited to read Taking the Fifth. So just because I'm motivated and this already sounds good, I'm going to read the first page. What do you think? Or maybe, maybe not the whole first page, but maybe a little bit. The aid car was there, sitting next to the railroad track, with its red light flashing. Before the guy on the ground, the guy lying on his stomach, with his face in the cinders and dirt beside the iron rails, it was far too late for an aid car. He didn't need a medic. What he needed was a medical examiner and a homicide detective. That's where I came in. Homicide Detective J.P. Beaumont of Seattle PD. I was there along with my pinch-hitting partner, Detective Alan Big Al. Lindstrom. After working until midnight on our regular shift, we had been called back when the body was found. Now we were standing by, waiting for Dr. Howard Baker, King County's medical examiner, to arrive on the scene. Doc Baker isn't a morning person, and this was very early morning. It was 10 to 5 on a cool summer day, just after the longest day of the year. All right, well... I'm gonna end the video here so that I can keep on reading. And if you are intrigued, you're gonna have to go onto Amazon, buy this book. And if you're really intrigued, go on to Etsy, check out this uh, small business and go on a blind date with the book, Halloween edition. Nice. This was overall a really great experience. I am going to just sit here in this couch for the rest of the afternoon. I'm gonna start reading this book and eating some candy <laughs> and just enjoying a pre-Halloween scary read. Or maybe not scary, but you know, homicide <laughs> detective, <laughs> still spooky. Kind of read so i'm very excited again highly recommend this this was a cool experience i will do it again let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to order more and open them on camera i'm kind of like addicted to see what kind of books i would get in the mail now with like different kinds of goodies yeah so let me know if you are too
<laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna go do that. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.